An unexpected asteroid almost destroyed the Earth and no one saw this coming. Luckily the asteroid flew right by. Astronomers in Brazil discovered asteroid 2016 QA2 just days ago. They thought the asteroid was between 80 and 180 feet wide. The asteroid passed the Earth just a day after the asteroid was discovered. It passed 50,000 miles away from Earth which is just less than a quarter distance from the Earth and the Moon. So let me put this all into perspective for you guys. It takes about 3 days to get up to the Moon. So this asteroid was like less than a day away and the asteroid goes faster than rocket ships. So it could have been hours away from hitting Earth if it was on a collision course. It's always very scary time knowing that there are so many objects out there in outer space that can just totally wipe us out. I don't mean to scare you but how's it going you guys? I'm Landon. This is where I talk about the news or anything trending really. Videos go up on this channel daily so make sure you guys subscribe for daily content. In my last video I asked you guys what do you think about trophy hunting? Like people who pay money to kill animals. So this is what you guys said right here. And today's topic question of the day is what do you guys think is the most probable thing to destroy humans? Let me know down there because your comment will be seen in tomorrow's video. Before we get into all of today's crazy news stories, I just wanted to give a shout out to one of my editors because she started a YouTube channel. It's right over here. The channel is called Tripper's Guide to the Galaxy. This is actually one of my first ever editors that I've ever had. Like she's been with me since the beginning of like all these YouTube channels. So make sure you guys go support her and click right over here. Let's go over there and put hashtag Landon Production sent me here. Guys, if you support me, support her. She's been editing these videos for a very, very long time. I think it's over like three years. It's epic. And from there, I have more YouTube news for you guys. PewDiePie, we all learned yesterday that he got banned from Twitter, which was shocking news. And Corey did a fantastic job talking about it in yesterday's video for me as an extra video. Well, he was banned because of an ISIS joke him and his friend Jacksepticeye said on Twitter. Well, now we find out that PewDiePie's business card was almost compromised. I was able to pull this off of his Twitter account before he was banned. PewDiePie tweeted this. Somebody in New York trying to buy a new computer with my business expense card. LOL, didn't go through, sorry mate. I'm not even sure how someone would be able to obtain his business card, but they did. More PewDiePie news, I know this is a few days old, but I really wanted to talk about it because I haven't had a chance to talk about it yet because there's just been so many news stories this week. But PewDiePie has just come out with a new game. It's called Tuber Simulator. It's a clever game. The game puts players in the role of being a video game streamer. This is his second ever game that he's launched. His first one was Legend of the Bro Fist that became quickly popular and it was one of the most downloaded apps in the App Store. I mean this guy is just, you know he's just raking in the money here. The Tubular Simulator isn't out yet and there's been no release date at this point. Sam Pepper has just announced on Twitter that he's come out with his own clothing line. He has been one of the most hated people on YouTube so I'm not sure why people would want to buy his clothing. I'm not trying to be negative here. Well here's one of his outfits and if we zoom in, wait a minute. Is that Marge from The Simpsons? Why does she look crazy? So I'm not sure if The Simpsons will be happy about this one because you're selling their brand and calling it your own. President Barack Obama is trying right now because he granted 111 inmates a lesser sentence. He shortened the sentencing for 35 federal inmates who were serving a life in prison sentence. The new grant of executive clemency brings his total to 325 people this month, of like the month of August alone. He has a total of 673 inmates he lightened the sentence for and this is the most ever out of any president. There was breaking news about Donald Trump in a press conference he was standing right next to the Mexican president. Donald Trump talked about how he wants to protect the state and one of those ways of protecting the states is building the the Great Wall of Mexico. And who's gonna pay for it? Well, it wasn't discussed. And this is to stop Mexicans from illegally coming into the state. Donald Trump is actually conservative in this speech, probably because he's standing right next to the Mexican president. There is a lot of hate against Donald Trump in Mexico. I'll just leave it at that. Hawaii right now is on high alert for a hurricane. The tropical storm is developing in the Gulf of Mexico. These reports came from the National Hurricane Center. Hawaii right now is taking precautions, opening up shelters, and they have closed down offices, schools, roadways to prepare for Hurricane Madeline. I do hope everyone is okay in the affected areas. Okay, I used to talk about some YouTube stats and I know a lot of you guys love it, so I'll bring it back from time to time. So Wiz Khalifa's song, See You Again, is nearing 2 billion views on YouTube. It's gonna be the second video to hit over 2 billion views. It's behind Genyum Style. And that video is closing in on 3 billion. I think eventually it's gonna hit that milestone. It's gonna take a little bit more time, but I think it will. I still remember when Genyum Style broke the YouTube view counter. A few videos to welcome to the 1 billion club is a song 
song by Fifth Harmony called Worth It. Wake Me Up has just hit over 1 billion views. Watch Me Whip and Rude by Magic are also in the 1 billion club. The next video to hit it is Psy's other song, Gentlemen. A lot of people thought that song wasn't good and Psy was a one hit wonder. Well, he's proving everyone wrong with the second viral hit song that's almost at 1 billion views. So you know what? Congrats. Celebrity news, Taylor Swift was seen in court while she had to do jury duties in Nashville. Jury duties is pretty much when you're like randomly selected and I've actually been randomly selected and you have to sit down on a case and you become an unbiased juror who helps decide the fate of some cases. Well Taylor Swift had to sit in a rape and kidnapping case but Taylor Swift said that she would be biased to this case and that's because she's actually involved in a rape case herself. Yes, it's true. Taylor Swift filed a report claiming that she was sexually assaulted and this took place back in 2013 and it's still ongoing. Before one of her performances at the Denver Pepsi Center, a DJ groped her butt backstage when the two of them were like taking a picture together. The DJ was DJ David Muller and he was later fired from his job and he tried to sue Taylor Swift for making these accusations. Taylor Swift is currently countersuing that. So with all of that being said, Taylor Swift was taking off jury duty. Mel C, aka Sporty Spice from the former girl group Spice Girls has just announced that she's not going to be a part of any other other future reunions with the Spice Girls. Which means the reunion from the 2012 Olympics when we saw them on stage, that is going to be the last memory we have of them all together. Mel C and also Victoria Beckham have said that they're not going to join the group for any more reunions. Next year is actually the 20th anniversary reunion, but it looks like, uh, yeah, it's cancelled. It's getting the axe. They just want to move on from the Spice Girls, even though they can make millions of dollars, not that they need any more money. I have an update with Chris Brown. The person who has accused Chris Brown was identified as Bailey Curran. She accused him of putting a gun to her face. He was threatening her with a deadly weapon. Well, she doesn't have a good rap sheet herself. Bailey, she was convicted of grand larceny a few years back. I'm not saying because she has a criminal past that she's making this up, it's just being brought into the light. So Chris Brown was arrested, but not after there was a lengthy standoff with him and the police. Rihanna actually texted Chris Brown as the whole thing unfolded. She was worried sick about him. At the time of this recording, Chris Brown was released on bail and the bail was set at $250,000. He was arrested with assault with a deadly weapon. He is gonna have to appear in court very soon. That court date is not yet announced, but this is a big news story because he could end up in prison once again. This picture right here has been trending all over social media. It's a big expensive boat submerged into the water at a harbor. This picture has been viewed hundreds of thousands of times. At the time of this recording, could be millions now. When the boat owner noticed that this was his boat, he totally freaked out. Investigators think that someone forgot to put in the boat's plug, which is like a huge mistake you shouldn't do. This incident cost several thousands of dollars in damages. The electronics on the boat alone cost more than $20,000 to fix. Moving on, Dropbox has been hacked, and this affects me. This is very scary. I'm not gonna lie. Cyber crooks stole account details from over 68 million users and the chances of like one of those 68 million users being me is very likely. The massive data leak came to light after a selection of files containing email addresses and passwords were sent to a motherboard. I'll keep you guys up to date with everything about that. Tech news for you guys, Samson has just unveiled the new waterproof gear S3 smartwatch and this comes ahead of the Apple Watch 2 launch. This was done on purpose. This is strategy. They're trying to take out their competition and try to get to it first. Samson has unveiled two new versions of its Gear smartwatch line, adding water resistance to its watches for the first time ever. Okay, in yesterday's video, I talked about how Apple might have to pay billions in back taxes, and these were taxes that apparently were unpaid in Europe. Well, there has been a widespread criticism in the US of the European Commission's ruling that Apple should pay up to 13 billion euros. The US Treasury has replied to that and said that such tax investigations were unpaid unfair and undermined. A Democrat senator called the move a cheap money grab. The White House said the ruling could cost US taxpayers a lot of money. They also said that if Apple has to pay back taxes, it might offset the amount against tax due in the United States, which could be unfair to American taxpayers because of course they're going to have to pay more. Well, there you guys have it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I hope to see you guys in the next one very soon.